Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a reading for Fire Signs in Love for the first half of December 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. <clears throat> so yeah, fire signs and love, that's for sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the north node. For the second half of December 2020, these are the cards that I'm using. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're starting out here with Aries. We're going to go ahead and get three cards from the Kipper deck and see what the story is going to be about, right? What is the main, uh, who are the main characters maybe, or I don't know, the plot. I don't know. <laughs> right, we got one, two, and three. So, starting out here, all right, we have the 17 card. Okay, yeah, nice. So somebody here is going to be receiving a gift. 17 reduces down to the number 8. This could be something that is um, <clears throat> going to happen in 8 days, 8 months. Um, I don't know. Something like this, right? We'll see. We'll see. And then we have main female. There you are, possibly, right? This could be you, or if you're a male, this is someone else, or this could still be you either way, right? Um, main female here, right? And then we have a sudden wealth. Wow. Something that's deserving of you. Because it's the number 11 card, you're going to be enlightened on something. And it's in regards to sudden wealth. Yes. Sounds good so far, right? Shoot. All right. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, well, we're going to find out the general energy for Aries for the first half of December 2020. All right. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. All right. General energy for Aries and love is. Ooh. The high priestess. Using our intuition, are we? Mm-hmm. Well, that's nice, right? That's good. Maybe, uh, you know, you have that sacred knowledge about something, right? It's in regards to you, this main female, right? You maybe, maybe you're psychic and you're gifting yourself with sudden wealth. Uh, maybe you played the numbers right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you know, but let's go ahead and find out what's going on for Aries and love. Oh, for the first half of December 2020, for Aries and Love. Aries and Love, Aries and Love. Aries and Love, Aries and Love. For the first half of December 2020, for Aries and Love. Aries and Love. For the first half of December 2020, for Aries and Love. Wow! Cards are going all over. They're going all over, but they're not leaving my hand, you know? Shoot. <laughs> Aries in love for the first half of December 2020 for Aries in love. Okay, let me see here first. Aries in love for the first half of December. Woo! Damn! All right, so the, this is good so far. All right. Jeez, man. All right. Starting out. Well, look, let's see what's front and center. Six of Swords in the reverse, not leaving this toxic situation, huh? Well, you know. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I don't know why I was grabbing these. Okay, so uh, let's see what's here. Three of Cups in the reverse. Holy crap. No. <laughs> that either means that you're not celebrating over something or you're no longer wanting to deal with any kind of third-party situations. And, you know, they're both good, right? Uh, well, no, not having a celebration is not good. I don't know. Maybe you're not going to be uh, celebrating this holiday. I don't know. <laughs> we have the Six of Swords here. Now, somebody is tired of a situation, right? That's possibly why somebody here is not dealing with third party, right? 
Because, uh, you know, and I'm just saying somebody because you got to pick your person in the story. I don't know who you are in this story. Because people are going to come out and you got to see which one you are, right? But we do have the, the Four of Swords here. And somebody's trying to figure out, uh, figure something out. Because they're just tired of this. You're tired, you know? You're trying to use your intuition here, though, right? Trying to use, somebody's trying to use their intuition here. And, and, you know, but they're not being, they're not really being illuminated 100%, right? <clears throat> they might know something about something they don't know everything right and that's what the deal is here um yeah look six of uh the six uh let me major arcana is uh the lovers look having a little kiss on the gondola <laughs> so yeah you know what i'm saying so and then this is in regards to some lovers right your lover maybe you know about some lovers you know so also here we have um the three of swords and this is about heartbreak right somebody doesn't want to be in third party situations anymore they're tired of doing that right they're tired of dancing around with this that and the other and they're heartbroken over it right and they you know they're not a, they're not being illuminated to something right or somebody here is not being illuminated to something in regards to two lovers right um yeah the six of swords in the reverse this person is is staying in a in a uh somebody here is staying in a toxic situation um but but they're gonna come out of it soon they're going to come out of it soon because we have the hangman in reverse, right? Or they're going to come out of it or they've already come out of it. I don't know which stage you're in here. But we also have six of pentacles in, re in reverse, not wanting to give to two situations, right? Um, or somebody didn't receive that kind of uh, equal give and take or something like that, right? And, um, you know, I'm taking it that somebody just does not want to give to two situations, Right, they don't, and they're heartbroken over it. Right, mm. That's a, this is a kind of an interesting, weird kind of read. What else do we have for Aries here? For the whoop, what's that? We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's not being illuminated to something. And maybe that might be in regards to money. Somebody might be holding somebody's money back. Trying to anyways. Trying to prevent some sort of victory for somebody. Wow. What? Somebody is not letting something go. And it has to do with some sort of deception and being left out in the cold. They're hot, trying to have the strength through this. Or they're dealing with the Leo trying to manifest something into their life which is uh love a message uh, to send out a message of love to somebody and take a leap of faith somebody wants to give another person an offer an offer of marriage holy shit and it might be towards a queen of wands or you you may doing be somebody might want to do this to you um we also have uh this is the uh star Somebody's hoping to heal a situation for love. Whoa, 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 whoa. So there's a lot going on here. I don't know. <clears throat> there's some heartbreak and, you know, somebody wanting to, some people wanting to heal things with love. You got to pick who you are in the story. You know, we did see the queen of uh, wands there. Somebody might be wanting to heal and heal something with you, right? Hoping to heal something with you or maybe a relationship or something like that. You know, yeah. But uh, this is, a, I like this right here, the sudden wealth part. So, you know, if you are the main female, you may be coming into some sudden wealth. And that's great. You know, if you're a male watching this, and you may know a main female that might be coming into some sudden wealth. I don't know, you know, who knows? <clears throat> Interesting. Let's see what the romance angels have to say about this, okay? What does the romance angels have to say about... Aries in love for the first half of December 2020. Aries in love. Aries in love. Woo. Aries and that said worth waiting for. Sorry. <laughs> Aries in love. Aries in love. Aries. Woo. Aries in love. And then Aries.
Aries in love. Aries in love. Whoa. Okay, okay. All right. So, <clears throat> we have first out. I already put it there. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at, is at work in your love life. Okay, cool. Right? So, yeah, it's over the heartbreak card. But just, just wait for it because spirit is working on bringing you in that true love, right? Yes, sirree. Um, <clears throat> so you might be in a toxic situation right now, wanting to leave a toxic situation and you just can't maybe. Uh, you're being held back some way, somehow, could be through your finances. <clears throat> we also have wedding. This situation involves marriage, okay? So maybe uh, you could be trying to leave a marriage, right, is what I'm seeing. Um, you want to leave a toxic situation, maybe a toxic uh, relationship that you might be in. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you may have feelings for another person, and maybe you're married, right? Something like that, right? Yeah. What do we have here? Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And what's six? Of, yeah, you know, so you may be like, you know, <clears throat> that six of pentacles in reverse. You don't want to give in to a situation. You don't want to do this. You want to be really firm and, you know, let go of the control issues. You know, just be, just, just chill, you know, and, and relax and stop. Uh, stop jumping to conclusions, maybe, is what I'm feeling, right? Unrequited love. So somebody here, uh, ha there's a situation here of unrequited love, right? Someone, well, we have a three-party heartbreak, right? Okay, so somebody, yeah, somebody may have taken advantage of another person. Somebody um, <clears throat> may have taken advantage. That's why we have that three of, of swords right here, right? And, and this is where I'm saying somebody may not want to do this anymore, may not want to juggle, may not want to have heartbreak. Maybe I'm thinking that somebody here wants success and love and all that but somebody is being kept or held back uh with somebody that they don't love i don't know what that is means okay but there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going okay so there's somebody here that somebody is with they don't like that person <laughs> right I, I'm, that's what i'm thinking look retreat it's time to disconnect from the world and this person wants he they he or she want to escape this situation <laughs> really is what i'm seeing here wow so i don't know pick your side i don't know pick the person you are in the story but whoa mm-hmm that's what i see here mm -hmm. so yeah if this resonated please don't forget to subscribe and like right also keep a true love energy happy friendly and loving types we have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful so i'm going to go ahead and move on to leo and love next thank you so much aries for coming by uh leo in love is next okay so this is for leo in love for uh the first half of december 2020 Leo in love for the first half of December 2020. Leo in love for the first half of December 2020. Okay, we got it. Let's see what this is all about. Ooh, adjudication. Somebody is going to court. Somebody's going to court over something. Okay, something's going on here. There's a court matter, right? We have the number 30, right? Send the masters around to make sure everything is in order. That's what aren't sure, right? So whoever, whatever is deserving here, you're going to get whatever you deserve. Oh, whoops. Despair. Wow. So it appears here that somebody out there is going to be in despair after this judgment is made. This judgment is going to put something out, someone maybe out on the street. And it might be this main female. Wow. Crazy. For the first half of December 2020, somebody 
may be forced to, you know, or somebody is going to be in despair. And it looks like it may, might be a main female who is going to be in despair. There's some judgment that's going to be placed on this individual. Oh, uh, now this could be you. This could be you or somebody in your environment, right? Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and find out what the heck is going on here for Leo in love, right? So it looks like it could be like for married Leos or something. I don't know, right? So, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, get one more shuffle in for that general energy for Leo, okay? Um, whoa. General energy for Leo for the second half. Oh, sorry, the first half of December 2020. All right. General energy for Leo for the first half of December 2020. General energy is. <clears throat> okay. So we have the Three of Cups. Now this could be a party or a celebration. A three party or a celebration right so you know take that as an energy right we're gonna we don't know quite which one yet right because we have to go through the reading but you see three party i thought three was a crowd no three is a party yeah three so there might be some extra people involved here right so let's go ahead and find out what is going on for Leo for the first half of December 2020? This is for Leo for the first half of December 2020 for Leo. This is for Leo. For the first half of December 2020 for Leo. Okay. So let's go ahead first and find out. We've got the Five of Swords at the bottom. Some lies going on, maybe? I don't know. There he is now. Leo, you could be dealing with a King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, right? Male or female energy, whichever one, right? But this person is in the reverse not very emotional at all okay doesn't share much of their emotions maybe they you know and, and this person is kind of mean in regards to those emotions too so kind of could be a, like a grump you know just uh, you know somebody just very uh, stiff kind of like when you see people and like you know somebody when they were 18 right and they're all cool kick back laid back and then all of a sudden they join the Marines, right? And then they get out and they're not the same. They're like stiff. They're like cardboard peep. They're like, you know, it's like, it's like that. Somebody's really stiff and uneasy and it's feeling just like loosen up, sh shake it out or something, you know, <laughs> somebody like that, right? And then we have the four of cups. So it looks like somebody like this <laughs> might be coming to bring an offer into you, some sort of offer. <laughs> Uh, I see here, though, that somebody's not going to take a leap of faith on this, right? Yeah, they're not. Um, <clears throat> what's going on here is somebody may be actually wanting to work on their finances. Maybe they have a new start going on for them that they're really uh, passionate about, right? Because Leos are passionate. So <clears throat> you got to pick who you are in this story, okay? Um, I don't know who's watching. We've got plenty of energies here, so you pick who you are in this story, right? Um, but I do see here that, um, somebody is deciding basically that they want to work on their finances. They have a new idea, a new fresh start in regards to stability. Um, and this may actually be, uh, you know, this, this nine of, of pentacles right here though. Look at that single lady. You, if you're single, that could be you, you know, this, uh, you know, and this king of pentacles may be coming your way as uh, a single person also, maybe, I don't know. Because I do see there might have been an ending to a relationship here. And one person came out good and one person may have come out not so good. <clears throat> you know? Yeah, that's what I'm feeling here. Uh, this could have been the judgment of these two individuals here. One is despair and one is I'm doing pretty darn good, right? So 
That's kind of mean. Somebody took them for everything they got, right? Whichever one you are, you know which one you are. So, <clears throat> so now King of Cups with that kind of, you know, weird emotions, stiffy, kind of like not so like being loose, whatever. It's coming to place an offer to a single lady. And it could, this single lady could have been somebody that they uh, had an ending with already in the past, right? It was a cycle that was already passed. And, and maybe this is why um, they're not taking a leap of faith with that person. It is a situation that has been already long gone, right? <clears throat> so what else is going on here for uh, Leo? Okay. What is this? Yeah, Three of Swords. Yeah, this is a situation I think that has been over. This person has been dealing with this heartbreak. and um, But I do see here that, yeah, Tower Moment. You know what I'm saying? This person uh, may have, you know, thought of somebody as their wish fulfillment. And they didn't go. They didn't do what they were supposed to. You know, they weren't. Uh, that's not an earthquake, you guys. It's Brian shaking the table. But, um uh, so the situation has had ended, right? And somebody went on to do something else. And I and I think that somebody might be trying to come back, but they're going to find out that, hey, I already started a new project. I already started a new something. I, I already have someone new. I don't know. Uh, yeah, look, King of Swords in the reverse. This person's mean, though. Look, mm. this is a mean individual. This person may turn into, and you know what? And it's crazy. This is what I'm thinking now. This is the same person. They're going to come in. They're going to try to be emotional. It's not going to work because they're not going to be very emotional, right? And then when, once they're turned down here, they're going to turn into the king of swords in the reverse. And that's a terrible person. That's a mean-ass person. Talks shit, you know, uh, thinks of evil things to do to you. Just not a good person. So I, I think you should wait, watch out. I mean, not wait, but watch out. Because when you turn this person down, this person might get real mad. Uh, because they're already, I think they're already mad about this that has happened. And then when they come into the next person, you might be the next person or they... Wow. You could also be a Leo and this is person is a Leo too. Somebody, you know, you could both be Leos. And somebody's coming to you. And, 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 and I think, I feel like if you turn this person down, if you say, hey, the cycle has already been ended, I'm sorry. Doesn't matter how you say it. Even if you say it real nicely and carefully and calmly, this person's still going to get mad, I think. Ah, I don't know. It's, it's either that or it's, it's you. Brian! No, babe. No. Okay. So we have one final card. Let's see what the final card is. You know, it's you or the other person, you know, who's going to... We got you at the bottom of the deck uh, the, for the final card. And it's... Um, so, yeah. We have you at the bottom of the of the uh, pyramid, right? And, and, and look, it's... You're in the reverse, right? So, yeah, what I see here is, is, I think what happens here is that you've lost passion for this person. Yeah, you're not very passionate about that person anymore. Um, whatever had happened in the past, I don't know, in your situation, but a tower moment came in. It was the end, and it came in crashing down pretty darn hard. And, um, you, you know, this person might be having the idea that they're going to come flying in again, and, and try and start something with you but i think you've already started something uh and you started it through this heartbreak you're and you decided that you're not going to take a leap of faith and and what that's going to do it's going to make this person mad i think it's it's going to keep take take him from this partial emotional person to somebody who's real mean and uh, you know i don't know just be careful you know what i mean Take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't manifest weird stuff into your life, okay? You know, this is so, uh, whatever, you know. <laughs> uh, we do have the Two of Cups here. So it's somebody that you have shared your emotions with, definitely, in the past. I'm going to put that back on top. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? Oh, they're coming to talk to you, dude. I told you. They're coming to talk to you. Uh, they're going to be telling you some couple lies here, though. Look, 
There he is, the king of uh, wands. So he is passionate, right? He is passionate. Something. He's not an emperor yet, not this person. Um, we have, uh, what do you call it? We have, um, <laughs> I hear the dog scratching. That's why I lost my train, train of thought. But we have temperance here. This is a card of Sagittarius. Oh, yeah, so being patient. This guy is not, I don't think this guy is very patient, though. This is the thing, right? Uh, he's been in hangman mode a while, though, thinking about stuff, and he sees the Queen of Swords as somebody. So you could have, you know, uh, air in your chart somewhere there, maybe. I don't know. But there's some money is slow coming to this person, right? And this person is always feeling they get, got competition with you and that you might be giving to others. So I don't know about this person anyways. This person has a lot of um, <clears throat> insecurities. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, this person got a lot of insecurities. And, and, and that's why... That's why when you turn them down, they're going to be all get all crazy because they're not mature. They're not, you know, they might not even come back to give you a, the offer might be funky too. It might be kind of rude or it might be, you know, I don't know. I mean, you might not like how they speak to you or something. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know, Leo. I don't know how this is going to work out for you. You know, dang, I would love to know if you could just let me know in the comment if, I don't know, <laughs> if you can. Um, but yeah, we have, what do we have for the, from the Romance Angels for Leo uh, for the first half of December 2020? First half of December 2020 for Leo, you know, for Leo, first half of December 2020 for Leo, Leo. Okay, we got, we got quite a few of those. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have let go of control issues. Yeah, you have them. I know, I know. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. You know, that shit is hard to though control, right? The like letting go of control issues. It ain't that easy. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so yeah, I told you this person's gonna be kind of weird when you turn them down, I think. So be careful. Uh, yeah, deception. This person may be coming in to try to deceive you in some way or or form or fashion someone is wearing a false self self mask in this relationship so somebody is is maybe uh trying to come in to deceive you of your money and your new start aha uh -huh. be careful look unrequited love you or this person that you may not have this love for each other you your love may have died out right or this person was just coming in for deception right finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now holy shit it goes right on top of the king of swords so this guy is not doing very good financially he's trying to come and get it from you that's right new love but look at you right here right leo queen of of uh wands in the reverse not so happy now but you will be new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings thank goodness right shit after all of this at least there's a new love coming in, okay? little drama that you're going to have to deal with during the first part of December. But, hey, that's cool. You know what I mean? Just, uh, I don't know. Just try to keep your cool, I guess, you know? Because Leos can be kind of fiery, right? I know. And, um, yeah, I think that's what I got for you today. All right. So that was for Leos in love for the first half of December 2020. Please, you guys, subscribe and like, okay? Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful, right? Hell yeah. All right. So I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. I'm going to move on to uh, Sagittarius next. Sagittarius is next. Okay. So this is for Sagittarius. Uh, this is for the first half of December 2020. I'm going to go ahead and pull three cards from the Kipper deck just so you can get an idea of the plot of the story, I guess. You know, whatever this is you know, going on here. We get three cards for Sagittarius in love for the first half of December 2020 for Sagittarius in love. Sagittarius in love, please. First half of December 2020 for Sagittarius in love. Sagittarius in love. There it is. All right. So first of all, we have pathway. Okay. So uh, you may be going on a different path, right, than what you thought. Uh, you're being directed to go into another direction. 35 reduces down to the number eight. Uh, this is something that has been divinely guided, I guess. You know, eight could also represent infinity. So something that you've been uh, guided to do, go down a certain pathway. I don't know. That's what I'm getting here with that one. 
um, a bad health, okay? Now this is why. This is why you're being guided into another pathway because your health is failing or somebody's health is failing and you have to make changes in your life to accommodate that other person, right? We have 31, we reduce this down to number four. Um, so that could be, uh, yeah, that you're, somebody could be hanging on, hanging on for, you know, wow, geez, somebody could be hanging on for their, their health. You know, their health may be really, really failing, right? Uh, I do see number nine, change. So <clears throat> it looks like somebody here is going through a life overhaul, right? Um, having to take another pathway because of bad health issues. Uh, they're going to have to make changes in their life, right? Like drastic changes because if they keep doing whatever they're doing, you know, it's going to get really bad, you know? And now this could be somebody who has... Um, uh, you know, not been doing very, very healthy things in their life and, and they're going to have to do things if they want to, you know, if they want to live, you know, um, you know, doing things that, that don't benefit their health, like, you know, alcohol and drugs and things like that, you know, um, or, you know, overeating or, um, things that are, are not good for you, you know, um, <clears throat> but, you know, a lot of those things, you know, it's not only, uh, a change in, in, in eating habits and all that. It's also a change. You, you got to change your whole entire life if it's something like you got to separate yourself from every single person in your life that will bring you to the point to where you're here. Like get rid of all the people that are involved in that stuff. It's a lonely, it's a lonely road, but you know what? In the end, you benefit in the end because your, your health gets better. You get better as a person. You start to realize things. I just saw 31, 33. I don't know if that resonates with anybody so uh yeah so i do see that somebody's bad health is leading them into a different direction a direction of change uh that they they need to have uh if they want to survive i'm, I'm feeling okay this, this could be you or somebody you know i don't know uh you you pick you pick from the story i guess so we're gonna go ahead and find out your general energy this is general energy for sagittarius sun moon rising venus in the north node right you guys um, also, um, yeah, don't resonate uh, bad things into your life. If this is not your story, don't, don't be like, oh my God, I'm going to get sick. No, no. Okay. So just, you know, um, so we're just going to get general en energy, right? General energy for Sagittarius for the first half of December, 2020 is just, this is for Sagittarius and love. Okay. So we have the six of pentacles. So it appears that somebody's giving to two, right? Or somebody wants an equal give and take type of relationship, right? Something like that too. So let's go ahead and find out what's going on for Sagittarius for the first half of December 2020 for Sagittarius, right? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay, this is for Sagittarius for the first half of December 2020. For Sagittarius, Sagittarius, what do we got here? For Sagittarius, look at that shit. You see that card? <laughs> Standing up right there. I wonder what that that is. Sagittarius. Ooh. Still got a few more. Sagittarius for the first half of December 2020. For Sagittarius. We'll save the last card for the very end, I guess. So let's see. All right. All right. Front and center, truth. Okay, somebody's going to be coming in with some sort of truth, right? Starting out here, somebody is going to stop juggling, right? Stop multitasking, maybe. Somebody was doing too much, but somebody's going to stop the juggling, okay? They, and they don't want to juggle this Queen of, of Pentacles any longer. Queen of Pentacles is a very nurturing, um, generous person, generous, right? Likes to you know, give uh, a lot, you know? This person may have thought this was wish fulfillment with this individual, with this Queen of Pentacles, but it's, it's not, you know, Sagittarius. Uh, I don't know who you are in the story. You could be the Queen of Pentacles energy, right? Or you could be the other person, right? But... <clears throat> I do see here that this was a wish fulfillment uh, situation, which was for selfishness and excess, right? Yeah. Uh, this was not for, you know, love and all that. It was for, you know, selfishness and excess can be uh, in regards to drugs and alcohol. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, I mean, you know, doing too much, you know, party too much, right? 
We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's, but somebody's not leaving a situation, right? They're not leaving a situation even though it's bad for them, I feel like, because we have this bad health here, right? Maybe because they don't know where to go. They have nowhere to go. So they stay with this Queen of Pentacles, but this Queen of Pentacles could still be in this bad energy too. And they're keeping that bad energy around this person, and this person is staying in the bad energy, and their health is failing even worse. You know, because why should other people have to change just because one person has to change? Right? Some people are not cool like that. <laughs> All right? Um, yeah. Some people, they just, you know, oh, you're not allowed to have sugar, so uh, you can't have it, but we can. And while people start eating pies and ice cream in front of your face, that's fucked up. You know, same, or drugs, right? Same thing. We have uh, the tower, Right? So the tower is definitely going to come in uh, for this queen of uh, pentacles, whoever that is, right? Um, and it's going to be, there's going to be some truth that comes in in regards to this, you know, selfishness and excess, maybe this drug use or whatever this is that's not healthy for this person. And um, <clears throat> we, we have the queen of swords now, okay? Um, the queen of swords, she doesn't deal with selfishness and excess. No, she does not. All right, she is too smart for that. She's too intelligent. She's somebody who's, you know, she keeps herself moving. She keeps healthy. She do. She knows what she has to do to keep herself good, right? Um, she might be staying somewhere uh, that you know. I, give me a second here. Somebody here, somebody here may find out some truth about a Queen of Swords that was uh, maybe a secret. Queen of Swords was a secret. It was somebody that, uh, somebody's going to find out about it actually. It was, it was a secret, but it's not anymore. Somebody's going to find out about somebody giving to two, and the other one may have been this Queen of Swords right here. And this Queen of Swords was involved with some sort of selfishness and excess in the situation, right? Directly uh, involved in that. Then somebody's going to find out the truth about that. We have the Three of Wands in the reverse. That means that somebody's not waiting, refusing to wait. The Queen of Pentacles refuses to wait for... S for some truth or is refusing to wait for something. So she's just going to go ahead and, and be in haste and make the tower moment come down, right? Uh, because she or somebody here, we have this nine of wands here. Somebody here is, is wanting, you know, they got their eye on someone else and they know it. They got their eye on somebody else. And the queen of wands, and she sees it. She sees that this person has her eye on somebody else and it's this queen of swords, whoever this is, right? She's going to figure out the truth herself. And she's not going to wait for this person anymore. She might be, she may have been waiting for this person to, you know, get into a higher form of commitment or something. I don't know, something like that. But um, she saw that this person is, uh, has their eye on the Queen of Swords. And she no longer wants to wait for this individual. <clears throat> um, let me get one more card, please. Let me get one more card for Sagittarius, please. One more card. One more card for Sagittarius. Yep. So if you're none of if you're not if your energy is not the Queen of Pentacles or the Queen of Swords, then you're these are two people that you're dealing with. Okay. One of them could be somebody that you're actually in a relationship with, and another one is somebody that you're at a distance from that somebody's gonna find out about. And they are not going to wait for you. They are not going to save any more cups of love for you. All right? Um, or for whoever is dealing with those two, right? You, you've got to pick your place, right? You could be one of those ladies. I don't know. But either way, bad health. This is not the right pathway. You need to make a change. Mm -hmm. It's coming to an end of the cycle, right? So you've got to be careful here. Cycle's coming to an end. you got to do... What you can, 
uh, make the best of this because you're going to get caught. <clears throat> you're going to get caught. Someone's going to see something. Somebody's going to know. Um, what else do we have here? What else do we have here in regards to the romance angels? Four Sagittarius in love. Sagittarius in love. Sagittarius in love. Okay. Sagittarius in love. Sagittarius in love. What do we have for Sagittarius in love for the first half of December 2020? Sagittarius in love. Oh, well, I guess that was it. Okay. Maybe because you know what's going on. You know what I mean? So what do we have? This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So this is for the uh, Queen of, it's got, I would lay it on the Queen of Pentacles, so this could be the one. But, you know, so this could be, uh, this was the one you were looking for, right? But you're going to find out some truth about this person, you know? This could be a soulmate relationship or one of those kind of twin flame ones where the, it's all shitty, right? And then we have past life relationship, right? This Queen of Wands is this person could be this person's past life really a uh, soulmate though too. So yeah, this could be the one. It doesn't. It doesn't. Need, it doesn't really specify. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Yeah, but this could be the one that teaches you a lesson, right? So if you're like trying to you catching them doing whatever and and. You're like, what? That person is the one I seek? No, it could be somebody that you've met already before, right? This could be the one you learned the lesson from and Spirit's testing you to see if you did learn the lesson. I don't know. Um, past life relationship. Yeah, this person is in a past life relationship with with this Queen of Swords here, whoever this is, you know. Um, if, you, if you are um, this Queen of Pentacles watching, uh, the Queen of, of Swords here is a past life relationship with whoever... You know, this is for, I'm talking to cross watchers right now. Sorry, you guys, I, sh I should have specified that. But um, we also have passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you might find out that some truth that this pa this person has passion for someone else. And, and you know, and you're not going to wait for this shit anymore. Maybe they had you hang waiting. Oh, we're going to get married. We're going to do this and that. But, the, but they never really come through. Why? Because I think they might be watching someone else. They're hoping and watching to be with somebody else, to tell somebody else some truth about how they feel about them, I think, you know. and uh, But I don't know how that's going to turn out because, uh, you know, I don't know. You know. So, yeah, you know, be careful of your health. If that's you with the bad health, be careful, you know, start eating better, start exercise, maybe just go for some walks, start e eating, stop eating the fatty foods, stop overeating, whatever, you know, I don't know what you're doing, you know, but try to get off that, you know, and um, <clears throat> also, uh, if it resonated in any way, Sagittarius, please don't forget to subscribe and like, come on, and um also, keep a true love energy, right? Happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful, right? Mm -hmm. So that's all I have for you today, Sagittarius, and for Fire Signs and Love. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll speak to you guys next time.